Good morning, Redwood, and happy Thursday. Let's get cooking in the kitchen for lunch. For lunch today, we are having an Italian sub or turkey and cheese sub, fresh vegetables and red pepper slices with ranch dip, green beans, bananas or grapes, and your choice of milk. And we have several birthdays to announce today. Happy birthday to Kaylee Blocker, Timmy Fife, Tiana Mater, Terrence Payne, Marlene Sanchez Lopez, and Dulce Solis. All of you enjoy your birthday and come on down to the office for your birthday. Day, uh, we have just a few announcements today. Uh, the word hunt, that's been a lot of fun watching you guys do that. I hope you've enjoyed that. That ends today, so if you've not found all the words, today is the last day for that. After school reading club, that is tonight after school for those students who are part of it. We also are having uh, the WIDA party for the kindergarten through second grade students. So those students who took part in the big WIDA test uh, get to celebrate it being over. And they did a good job and they worked hard, so thank you. 3-5 uh, will be tomorrow, I believe. Um, Girls on the Run, that's tonight if you're part of Girls on the Run here in the gym. Students, first off, I want to say to everybody who's listening, thank you, thank you, thank you for your help with our new, we're trying some new things to be safe. Um, that is my job. Um, if, you, if I ask kids, I know usually you tell me, what, if I say, what's my job? To keep everyone safe. And that is one of my number one jobs here. And so I need to do it very well. And I work hard at that. And I know all of you work hard at that. So thank you to the adults um, yesterday and today who've been so helpful with our new uh, procedure of checking for name badges or guest passes on folks when they come in. And kids, two things you can help me with. First one is if you are coming into school and your mom, dad, your adult, your parent, your family member is walking to school with you or walking to class with you, help them know they need to sign in in the office and get one of those red badges. Um, then they can go down. That's just so we know who's in the building. The other thing, students, when you come in in the morning, before school starts, before the bell rings, the only place you should be in this building would be in the gym lobby or in the cafeteria. So when you come in, you shouldn't be going, like students in the K-2 especially, you're the ones kind of being a little sneakier on me here, my second graders, I think. Uh, you are not to go to your lockers before going to breakfast. Take your coat, everything with you to breakfast. Then when you go outside, you still have it because I don't want students wandering all over the building. That's not safe. There's no one making sure that you're in a safe spot or if something were to go wrong somewhere in the building and I don't know you're here, I can't keep you safe. So you need to either be in the cafeteria, using the restroom in the gym, or on the playground. Those are the three spots I should see you in the morning. Um, we aren't wandering around the building. And I will look into maybe having the pencil machine moved. I was told that might be a problem since you can't use the pencil machine before school if it's down here and you're in the gym. So I'll see about maybe having that move to another location to make it a little bit easier. Um, also, adults just help us. Also, the wooden fire doors, the big wooden fire doors that separate the, the K-1 wing and the new gym area, those should be shut in the morning until the bell rings. It helps us also control the traffic flow. So adults, if you see them pushed open, just could you pull them closed again for me to help us out. Um, students, those need to stay shut as well during the morning until the bell rings. Okay, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, tomorrow is the Animal Magic Assembly. That's going to be pretty cool. Um, I know Mrs. Sumner's found this. Uh, performer or this presenter for us and he used to be on Nickelodeon TV and that's pretty cool because I grew up watching Nickelodeon too because yeah Nickelodeon was around even then and so I'm excited to see our magic assembly tomorrow our animal magic assembly well three different assemblies so that way it won't be uber crowded in there and also it can be different so the kindergarten first grade assembly may look a little bit different from the fourth and fifth grade assembly so I think it's a pretty good way to do things thank you to our PTO for helping us and thank you to all of you who help with healthy around red water that Redwood Run to help pay for this as well. Bathroom Battle both looked really well yesterday. And so, was that really good? I'm not sure. So, into the jar they go. We're getting near the end of March. I just counted for some strange reason. I felt like I needed to count six days. Six school days until spring vacation. Not that I'm ready or anything. At this time, would you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty.
liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Pledge Helpers. That was a great job. And everyone have a great day, learners.